Hey everybody, welcome to the secret history living in your aquarium. So today I am doing an announcement. This is the quick video. There's also a live stream that you can check out on my page as well as a bunch of playlists that go over all different sorts of aquascapes. But we are going to be announcing the aquascaping contest on this channel for 2021. So the important info will be linked below as well as the entry forms, the dates, and all that good stuff. And uh, we're going to go over right now what it is you can win, what it is we're looking for, and why this is the contest, the uh, aquascaping event that you should get in on, that's open to everyone, be that uh, kids, adults, seniors, uh, first-time fish keepers, or people who are pro aquascapers alike. Um, it's a wide open event and we've got some really killer prizes this year. So this year, thanks to the wor hard work of, uh, both Alan Bauer, one of my friends and one of the members of our channel and, uh, Aquatic Arts, who is a company I work closely with that deals with a lot of, uh, obviously they sell really high quality fish, invertebrates, plants, and hardscape stuff online. But beyond all that and the fact that you can get a 15% discount plus whatever sales are running and the fact that they just carry really hard to find oddball stuff frequently at a price that's a lot better than others, um, they are also throwing in a $250 gift card for the first place prize and a $100 gift card for the second place prize as well as a $50 gift card for the third place prize. Beyond that, we have even more surprise prizes for people to prize. Uh, and that is, we've got a $100 gift um, from one of our members that wants to support the, the, uh, the contest. We also have an, some fish, we have some plants. Lots of people are still continuing to donate um, even more stuff as uh, prizes so that more people can win, so that we can share the love. Now this isn't your typical aquascaping contest and let's get into that and the details of how you enter and what we need from you and why this is going to be so accessible to everyone in the hobby. It's not some high end, you need a rimless CO2 tank uh, to win. In fact, last time the person who won the contest, it was a two and a half gallon uh, tank. I believe it was rimless, but it was only a few types of plants that were not super expensive and uh, it was not CO2. So it's all about your creativity, the execution, and the balance of the tank as a functional uh, ecosystem for your critters. So do you have shrimp? Do you have uh, snails or some sort of cleanup crew? Do you have algae eaters or plecos or quarries or some sort of detritus cleaners if, if you have enough fish that you need that? Um, do you have uh, something in the middle of the water for, uh, to catch your eye, such as a community fish? Do you have top water fish? Maybe some killifish or hatchet fish or um, pseudomagills, whatever it may be, half beaks. Or is it a, you know, maybe you just have one pair of something and that is the balance for the tank as far as animals go. But what we want to see in this tank is that it is sustainable. Like, six months down the road, it will still be functioning and flourishing and not like a lot of aquascapes where it's set up for one picture and then after that picture, the tank's torn down. It may even just be set up for a day or two at, at, at a conference or contest and as beautiful and as skilled as those are, this contest is a little different. It's about, you know, the health of the animals, the balance of the animals, as well as your creativity and uh, this year we're doing immerse growth as uh, kind of the big um, emphasis on what it needs to have uh, in order to be eligible. Now, also along with those great prizes, uh, thanks to Alan Bauer and the support of Crystal Castleman, probably the foremost expert in the world on aquarium plants in the hobby. Um, we also have her book, Aquarium Plants, the uh, 2019 latest edition, um, the, the first printing of that latest edition, signed by her as a gift 
available to the top winner and if they already have that book for some reason um, it may get passed down to the second place winner and so on as well as the Diane Wallstead planted tank ecology the seminal piece of work that teaches us all about the science of fish keeping and planted tanks signed first edition of that book as well as some signed books of the uh, ADA uh, Aquascape contest uh, s submission entrance from last year. Their Aquascapes in a nice printed book, as well as some um, plant guides and things like that. Three other books that are going to be nice and helpful that will go to the runner-up uh, winners, as well as all that money that I was just talking about, the $250 prize. And on top of that, all throughout this contest, we are going to be giving away $50, $100 here or there. We've already given away $150 just in the last few days uh, to people who are helping each other out, who are doing research, who are sharing plant clippings with one another so that we can get this contest going and that everybody can participate who wants to. So what are the deets on this and when do you have to enter? So, you need to enter your tank by June 15th, and the form to enter is called the Initial Entry Form, and it can be found here, or it can also be found in the uh, live stream, which we talk about all the details and all the questions people had for an hour and a half. Feel free to drop a comment, too. But basically, what we want in that initial form is you just to say, this is what I'm using. I have a tank and it can be already established like this one here uh, and you could just say that you know my concept is there's a lot of green in here I want to have red plants coming out and growing immerse now immerse we're defining as having roots in a substrate underwater fully submerged and a stem and florets uh, above the water as well as some leaves above the water now we're not gonna just count something like uh, an, an Anubius sticking up above the water a few inches as, as immerse. We really would like to see, and you can definitely um, build your scape up like to a high point like this so that you're not growing because the end deadline is going to be August 10th, and that's when we'll ask for your second submission form. So let's take a look at some other tanks where I could show you what we're working on and, and how you may want to submit it. So the submission form is going to ask for your inspiration. So your inspiration, it could be a photo. It could be, um, it could be a picture of a habitat that you found online. It could be a tank you used to have. It could be someone else's famous tank, or it could be a species. But in that, we want to see that, like, for instance, you're saying, like, this is a Papua New Guinea slow-moving hill stream tank. So we got lots of water turnover moss, uh, sand, and then big rounded stones with good algae growth and lots of uh, strong light, a little bit of tannins, but mostly neutral water from rain is what you'd find. So this tank, I mean, you could say that you wanted it um, to be a, a hill stream tank, and that's fine for your, your motivation. Other people last year, they said, um, you know, my theme is blue and gold, and then they picked, you know, for instance, uh, gold... Um, barbs and blue dream shrimp or something like that uh, you can use tanks with rims like these don't worry you can use rimless tanks like these you could use a fishbowl for all we care but but you will see on the rubric what we're looking for which is balance of of composition you can also go to my channel and under playlists I have an aquascaping playlist where you can see uh, what it is we're interested in. Now, floating plants are considered uh, semi-immersed, so that is a good start. However, what we really want to see is things like this. Not Well, not like this. This one's dead because it's uh, got no light up above. But I'm going to restart this whole thing with you guys. I'm thinking this tank might be the one I grow out of. And we want to see plants coming up out of the water so that we can see them in their terrestrial form, so that we can all learn about plants. Um, it's, you know, I'm also going to count, um, blooms from lotus or lilies and things like that as an above, uh, water or immersed, uh, plant. But what we really want to see is when it starts growing up out of the water 
and transforming into something uh, new altogether, the form that it, it has above water. For instance, this moss is above water, but you'd want <laughs> more of it. Um, so that is kind of what we're looking for, and you can just enter all that information, the size of tank you're using, which fish, and if you know which plants, enter all that in the first form, link down below. Then, when we get closer to August 10th, as long as you do it by August 10th, we will be looking at forms so you have about two months to actually execute uh, creating whatever tank it is you wanted to create. Now, you can use heaters, you can use lights, you can use high-tech, low-tech, no-tech, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Um, you can use hardscape, you can use synthetic things, um, but... We are going to judge on some of the traditional standards of beauty, such as, you know, balance or symmetry, um, which doesn't mean it needs to be symmetrical. Just um, to understand these things, they're more nuanced. And so you can check out my video on the rule of thirds or the golden ratio or, um, you know, how, how uh, aquascape comp composition is as far as Brazilian aquascaping versus Dutch aquascaping and, and just kind of see what you're going for. Maybe you want it to be a very manicured garden. Maybe you want it to be a total jungle like my tanks generally are uh, unless I'm doing a scaping contest or something. You can do big fish. You can do little fish. You could just do shrimp for, all, for that matter. Um, but we want to just see that it is a full ecosystem that is functional. So... Uh, the last bit of info I'm going to tell you in just one sec. Thank you for watching. And uh, let's take a look outside because some people might be wanting to do tubs and ponds for this. All right, so talking about outside, I mean, here is an experiment tank. It's just a bucket. We have Creeping Charlie and Creeping Jenny in here. We have a Hygrophila that didn't work. I've been trying out all sorts of plants. There's some Scarlet Temple plant in there that is working, some Hornwort, some Spleenwort. And I am literally just trying things from my own yard, um, learning what will or what will not grow in our tubs and tanks. You can feel free to actually use a tub for all that matter. You could use a whiskey barrel. You could use um, a, a Rubbermaid container. Granted, you're probably going to have to come up above the water and do something pretty cool and tell us all about what's going on if you hope to win with something like that. But, I mean, you bet um, a pond or something like that would count as long as you look at the scoring criteria within um, the documents that you'll find at the link. Follow your heart's content. I mean, right now, this is that same plant that was growing in the bucket. I literally just grabbed it from here. So, the goal of this is really to get people to innovate, to try new things, to learn, to reach out to each other and to figure out, well, what plant do I want to use? And yeah, we have some cool prizes this year. We'll be grading it. And if you don't want it shared, that's okay. But um, most people, they're opting in to have it shared and uh, we're not going to tear you apart in front of everyone or anything. But we have three judges, Mridjal Singh, who's an excellent plant guy and just a kind guy in the in the hobby and in fish tube uh, circles um, from the east coast to the west coast to the world and also Alan Bauer who is an expert plant keeper grower and he is a big uh, big old plant nerd like me as well as a uh, um, keeper of freshwater fish too so um, that is what's going on here Please, if you have any questions, drop them below. Get in by June 15th. Sign up. Just submit your info. And uh, we'll also be doing like a home show. So it'll be, you just need to give us a few sentences if that's all you want to do. But if you want to submit a minute to three minute clip of your tank when you start it and when you end it, we really just need the pictures of start. It's starting to grow out. And that start could be an established tank and you're just adding to it. Uh, or it could be a completely new tank, but um, that's that's ambitious. So uh, I'd love to see it. Um, outside growth or strong lights will probably be needed uh, if you're growing from very deep in the tank. Um, so you might want to perch up the spots that are immersed, or you know, use epiphytic plants that are on um, you know that have rhizomes and are on a, a log or a stick. So I don't want to take this video much longer but i want to thank you guys for making this the third year running i want to thank the support of everyone who's been helping 
all you uh, who are watching. And I hope we have some fun. I hope this is something that is accessible to everyone. We're not judging on if you have the best equipment, the best gear. That is not the point. It is about the creativity, the thought, and just the, the exploration of our hobby and trying new things, trying new plants. And um, yes, the execution of your idea will get you points, but there's plenty of ways to get points in this rubric. And there will be three of us blind judging and then combining the, the total points uh, at the end to rank it. So should be really fun. I'll be doing it too. If you want to submit more than one, that's fine, but only one will be uh, rankable or uh able to win prizes but we can give you feedback on it if that's what you would like and the people are already uh trickling in we're probably going to cap it at 150 entrants maybe 100 entrants depending on how complex it gets so please hurry up and get those in the last of you who want to do this um from new timers to old timers everyone's welcome so uh i'll talk to you soon and stay tuned for the next 70 days i will be doing updates on um linking to videos in the community tab that are helpful for aquascaping, growing out my own aquascape, and talking about immersed plants, the science behind that, as well as all the normal stuff on the channel. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned, and make sure you select the bell if you want to be alerted when you're subscribed to this channel. It, you have to go in and redo it several times sometimes with the way YouTube is these days. But if you want to stay updated, that's the way to do it if you don't disregard this message, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.